We all know the technique for individual peace, transcendental meditation, and individual peace is the basis for world peace. Inside we feel more relaxed and tolerant. Peace is growing in the individual. Let's see what happens in our mind during transcendental meditation. Hier zien we de prefrontale cortex en de amygdala. De prefrontale cortex wordt meer actief. Dit is het controlepaneel voor hogere hersenfuncties. Tegelijkertijd daalt de activiteit van de amygdala. Dit is het angstcentrum dat de vecht- of vluchtreactie beheerst. In de rust tijdens het transcenderen begint een beter oordeelsvermogen te overheersen en stressreacties nemen af. So, meditators develop a more balanced brain functioning. They show less stress and higher moral behavior. Mind and body become peaceful. Dit ziet men in de verhoogde EEG-coherentie in de hersenen tijdens TM. In alle frequenties en in alle gebieden. Dit betekent dat elk deel van de hersenen beter samenwerkt met elk ander deel, op een heel ordelijke manier. We all know this experience as pure consciousness. It is an experience of a deep inner peace. This is the formula for creating peace on an individual level. But does it imply that everybody has to meditate if we want peace on a larger scale? An individu in harmony is the bouwsteen van een vredevolle samenleving en een vredevolle wereld. Voor een groen bos moeten alle bomen groen zijn. This seems logical, but how can we teach 7 billion people to meditate? In 1975 ontdekten wetenschappers iets opmerkelijks. Wanneer 1% van een samenleving TM leert, nemen negatieve tendensen af en positieve tendensen toe. De statistieken konden niet weerlegd worden. Misdaad, ziekte en verkeersongevallen namen af. De economie, de beurs en het aantal patentenaanvragen namen toe. And the beauty is that you don't need the whole population to meditate. Just 1% creates that effect which scientists call the Maharishi effect. It's because Maharishi predicted it long before it was verified by science. Het 1% effect vindt men ook terug in de natuur. Bijvoorbeeld waar een ijzeren staaf wordt gemagnetiseerd wanneer slechts 1% van de moleculen georiënteerd is op een ordelijke wijze. So with 1% of the population meditating, we can create a peaceful society. In addition, we also create a perfect system of protection against all sorts of negative influences. To understand this, we can look at a phenomenon that physicists call the Meissner effect. In een klassiek systeem is er veel entropie, wanorde en weerstand. Maar een systeem met maximale coherentie wordt een supergeleider. De perfecte orde in de supergeleider verhindert het binnendringen van elke wanorde. Tegelijkertijd creëert hij een beschermend veld rond zichzelf zodat geen wanorde van buitenaf de werking van het systeem kan verstoren. Het systeem wordt onoverwinnelijk. Dit is het Meissner effect. In terms of people and countries, when 1% of the population meditates, the country becomes invincible. It no longer allows any negative influence from inside or outside. Door het gebruik van deze technologie kan elke natie een ideale verdediging creëren en een voortdurend invloed van vrede genereren naar zijn buurlanden. Eindelijk hebben we een wetenschappelijk bewezen formule voor het creëren van vrede in de samenleving. Laat ons een land nemen, bijvoorbeeld België, met een bevolking van 10 miljoen. We hebben 100.000 TM-boevenaars nodig om vrede te creëren. So there's still a long way to go. But in 1976, Maharishi introduced the TM City program and that changed everything. Met het TM City programma 
is de vierkante wortel van 1% van de bevolking voldoende om hetzelfde effect te creëren als de deelnemers samen zijn op één plek. Dus een groep van 317 siddha's op één plek heeft hetzelfde effect als 100.000 mediterenden. In de geluidsfysica is dit effect bekend als constructieve interferentie. Wanneer drie geluidsgolven met dezelfde frequentie worden samengevoegd, stijgt de intensiteit of kracht kwadratisch. De resulterende golf is negenmaal krachtiger. This extended Maharshi effect at last gives us a practical solution for world peace. We only need the square root of 1% of the world's population, which works out to be just 9000 peace experts. World peace can be a permanent reality. Research has proven that this technology works. Over 50 studies have demonstrated its effectiveness to an exceptionally high level of reliability. Let's examine one strong case. Washington DC in 1993. Enkele duizenden Siddha's zijn samengekomen om de kracht van vrede aan te tonen en de misdaadcijfers dalen met 23%. You can actually train a group in a very powerful stress-reducing technology of TM, pretty easily, of course. And you can do that, for example, in the middle of Lebanon during the peak of the Lebanon war. It only took several hundred to start to notice an effect. But scientifically, you create the group, you remove the group. You create the group, you remove the group. You have them there for two days, they miss it, they're gone for three. You have them back, and you watch the level of war fighting, war deaths, war injuries, rise and fall in very strong correlation to the number of people who are creating peace and dissolving stress in the collective consciousness. When you've published 40 or 50 studies like that, you end up building up evidence that is really beyond irrefutable. There's never been an approach that has been studied as carefully and has been demonstrated to be so powerful. The effects can actually be felt very, very soon. Even better, modern science can explain the underlying mechanics. But even in ancient times, this knowledge was available. Maharshi Patanjali stelt in the Yoga Sutras, in the nabijheid van yoga, worden vijandige tendensen geëlimineerd. So how do we bring together a group of 9,000 for world peace? Maharishi created a group of Vedic Pandits and a beautiful campus in the center point of India to accomplish this ultimate goal. A Vedic Pandit? Veda, Vedic, means knowledge, the total knowledge of natural law, and Pandit means an expert. Maharishi created this group in India. Why India? India has two great practical values. First, the pundits actually come from there. Second, it's so much more cost-effective than doing it at most other places around the world. What does a Vedic pundit do? The Vedic pundits have two specialties every day. Yoga, which means meditation, and Yajna. What is Yajna? Yajna is action for evolution. And in this case, it's action, specifically Vedic performances or recitations, which are done for the welfare of the whole world, for the peace, prosperity, harmony. They recite specific Vedic expressions from that silent field, the unified field of all the laws of nature. And those sounds which they're reciting are those fundamental organizing sounds of nature itself to create that powerful positive influence for the world. If it is traditional, why do we already not have world peace? Because we've stopped taking advantage of this fabulous technology. If we enliven it again, we're going to have peace for the world. So can we do a specific yajna for world peace? We have to do specific yajnas for world peace. We're doing one now, Ati Ruja Bishek, 1,331 Maharshi Vedic Pandits at the Brahmastan or center point of India. And what we want to do, we want to have three times that group every day doing this Ati Rujubi Sheikh. What is the ultimate goal? Really what we want to do is have the effect. World needs it, we can do it, which is peace, 
harmony for the world. To do that, our goal in terms of pundit numbers, we want to have now 9,000 Vedic pundits at the Brahmastan of India. Thank you, Dr. Kaplan. Thank you. Yogis vliegen en yagyas zijn de enige middelen die wereldbewustzijn doeltreffend kunnen handhaven op een blijvend niveau van onovervindelijkheid. Vanaf nu wil ik een zo groot mogelijk aantal pandits inzetten. Maar ik moet voorzichtig zijn. Als ik ze eenmaal heb ingezet, is het nodig dat de fondsen beschikbaar zijn om een blijvend te ondersteunen. Maharishi You can imagine that supporting a group of 9,000 pundits will cost a lot of money. But that is still half the cost of a B-2 bomber, which until now has proven unsuccessful at creating peace. Om u een idee te geven van de kosten. Het ondersteunen van één pandit kost 250 dollars per maand. Logisch inbegrepen. Vergelijk dit met iemand in Europa. Dit is tien maal meer. At present, Thousands of donors are supporting this dear project. Every month they contribute whatever amount of money is comfortable in their budget. All those small gifts together enable us to support a few thousand pundits. But we need 9,000 for a more powerful effect. So your contribution would be welcome and would bring us closer to our goal. The the fact was just so powerful and so immediate on me and I felt so many changes in my personal life that I decided to be a regular donor. I think that this is a, an investment for me, a very good one. But then unexpected benefits occurred. I'm luckily a person that anyway enjoys quite some support of nature, but this has increased in a tremendous way, which I did not expect. To me, giving is an important part of receiving, and there's really no better way for me, or I think for anyone else for that matter, to give than to the pundits. Another large amount came to us during the year after we gave, so we decided to continue on a permanent monthly basis. But once I started donating for, the, for this project, I had a great support of nature, and my dream was just to be working for peace for the world. And actually, this dream became true, and I'm just working for peace. Well, for me, the Global Peace Initiative is creating peace for every individual on Earth through peace. And that is something I can trust, because it's the most direct way to live permanently in a happy world. I can feel a huge amount of bliss and peace being created by the pundits. So I believe if we have a lot more pundits, we can create peace throughout the land, and the world will become a better place. Now we live in a country, I'm from South Africa, which can be very smooth and very rough. But the rough things, they only happen when we're not having national yagyas. You can see it. If it can actually create world peace, then donating to that is greater than anything else you could donate to. I always get a great sense of satisfaction in the knowledge that my small contribution is making a big difference in the world, and there's nothing greater than that. This is the overall experience of most of the sponsors. It gives a real boost to their personal evolution. So try it yourself. Start with an amount that seems comfortable to you and see what happens. But one thing, please do it on a monthly basis. This creates stability for probably one of the most important projects of mankind. And it brings you lasting blessings of all the laws of nature. <laughs>